Hello everyone, my name is Erne and this is my friend Pedro. Hi. Hi. In this video we're going to demonstrate the Pythagorean theorem in a way that's not very common. Pedro, where did we see this proof of the theorem? We saw it in the book My Math Teacher and Other Stories by Elon Marcus Lima. In one of the chapters of the book, he demonstrates the theorem from the inside out. The proofs we usually see of the theorem are based on squares that are built on the sides of the right triangle. But here we're going to use similar triangles that are hidden inside the original right triangle. For the animations, we're going to use Desmos, which is an online graphing calculator. Pedro, where did you learn to use Desmos? I learned with my mom. She taught me the first steps and then I looked at other things on the internet to create the figures. Desmos is a nice tool because we can play with shapes and points and it automatically calculates areas and lengths. Alright, so now let's see the demonstration. Given a right triangle with sides measuring A, B and C, where A and B are the lengths of the legs and C is the length of the hypotenuse, the Pythagorean theorem states that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This equation can be visually understood with the following figure. The sum of the areas of the two smaller squares whose sides measure A and B is equal to the area of the larger square whose side measures C. If we change the sizes of the legs, the size of the hypotenuse will also change and the arrows of the squares will always obey this equation. On the right side of the screen are some examples that are calculated automatically by Desmos. In all of them, the sum of the first two values, a squared and b squared, is always equal to the last value, c squared. The purpose of this video is to prove this equation, that is, to show that it's always true. And to do that, we are going to use three similar triangles that are hidden inside the original right triangle. The proof will be presented in two steps. First, we will build three similar triangles with bases measuring A, B and C, and show that if the sum of the areas of the two smaller triangles is equal to the area of the larger triangle, then this will also be true for squares whose sides measure A, B and C. Second, we will find three similar triangles hidden in the original right triangle, such that the sum of the areas of the two smaller ones is equal to the area of the larger one, and with that we will have proved the Pythagorean theorem. First of all, it is worth remembering what similar triangles are. Similar triangles are those that have all three interior angles congruent, that is, with the same measure. In fact, since the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is always equal to 180 degrees, it is enough to verify that two of their angles are congruent, because the third angle will be as well. Another property of similar triangles is that the ratios between two corresponding linear segments are always equal. For example, the ratio of two corresponding sides or the ratio of one side and its height. Let's start by drawing three similar triangles with bases measuring A, B and C and assume that the sum of the areas of the two smaller triangles is equal to the area of the larger one. Recalling that the area of a triangle is given by base times height divided by 2, we can write the following. A times HA over 2 plus B times HB over 2 equals C times HC over 2. Now comes the similarity property relating bases and heights. HA over A equals HC over C, and HB over B equals HC over C. In these equations, we'll isolate HA and HB. HA equals AHC over C, and HB equals BHC over C. Now, plugging in the first equation, we have the following. A over 2 times a H C over C plus B over 2 times B H C over C equals C H C over 2. 
Let's combine variables in the first two terms. a squared times hc over 2c plus b squared times hc over 2c equals chc over 2. We can simplify the hc and the 2 on the three terms obtaining a squared over c plus b squared over c equals c. Now we merge the left hand side into a single fraction a squared plus b squared all over c equals c. Finally, we multiply both sides by c. The end result is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this equation shows the relationship between the three bases of the similar triangles. Therefore, if we have three similar triangles such that the sum of the areas of the two smaller ones is equal to the area of the larger one, then the sum of the squares of the bases of the two smaller triangles will be equal to the square of the base of the larger triangle. That's almost the end result, but we still have to link the similar triangles to the initial right triangle. Our task now is to build three similar triangles on the sides of the initial triangle and show that the sum of the areas of the two smaller ones is equal to the area of the larger one. But where are these triangles? At the beginning of the video, we said that this proof of the Pythagorean theorem would be from inside out. Let's start by denoting the vertices of the original triangle with capital letters A, B and C. Now we draw the height relative to the hypotenuse, which is a line segment connecting this side to the vertex C at a 90 degree angle. The point where the height meets the hypotenuse will be point D. Let's look at these three triangles, the ACD, the BCD, and the ABC itself. First, note that these three triangles are similar. Triangle ACD is similar to triangle ABC because they have the same angle on the top and a 90 degree angle. Triangle BCD is also similar to triangle ABC because they have the same angle on the right and a 90 degree angle. Therefore, the three triangles are similar. Now it remains to show that the sum of the areas of the two smaller triangles is equal to the area of the larger one. But this can be clearly seen in the figure, for the larger triangle is split into two parts, which are exactly the two smaller triangles. This proves the Pythagorean theorem. What we have done is build three similar triangles on each side of the initial right triangle, such that the sum of the areas of the two smaller ones is equal to the area of the larger one, and show from that fact the famous relationship a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The beauty of this demonstration is that it is built up from the figure itself by simply including the segment CD and using properties of similar triangles. Finally, let's comment on an interesting fact that's not usually said about the Pythagorean theorem. This quadratic relationship between the sides of the right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, is more general than we think. If we build any similar planar figures on the sides of a right triangle, the sum of the areas of the two smaller ones will always be equal to the area of the larger one. For example, if we draw similar quadrilaterals on the three sides of a right triangle, the sum of the areas of the two smaller quadrilaterals will always be equal to the area of the larger one. Or if we draw same plane circles on each of the three sides, the sum of the areas of the two smaller ones will be equal to the area of the larger one and so on for any two-dimensional shape. What about you? Did you know that?